Each of the two vertical links in the figure has a 16 by 36 millimeters uniform rectangular cross section and they are both made of a material with a yield strength of 101.6 megapascals. What is the maximum vertical load that can be applied at A so that neither link deforms plastically? This is the third example for the axial loading main video. Links to previous examples in that main video are in the description below. With our by now usual assumption that the unknown axial loads are positive causing tension, the free body diagram for member ABC would show forces at B and C pointing down. A sum of moments about C would give us an expression for FBD in terms of P and the sum of forces about B would give us an expression for FCE in terms of P. With the value of the smallest cross-section area of the link, which is at the pin, which is the same for both links, we see that link BD is subjected to tension and link CE is subjected to compression. If the absolute value of neither of these stresses should exceed the yield strength, we find that the load shouldn't be higher than 20,000 newtons for link BD not to yield and lower than 52,020 newtons for link EC not to yield. If we want neither of them to yield, we can state that the maximum load P should be 20 kN. As for anything higher than that, including the 52 kN, link DB would plastically deform. For one more short example related to normal strain, make sure to check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.